Have you ever run a mail merge in Word using Excel data only to discover that your numbers look totally wrong? Instead of seeing a dollar amount with a dollar sign, comma, and decimal places, your message only shows the basic number. No commas, no dollar sign, nothing. Frustrating, right? Don't worry, this is a common glitch, and today I'll show you the quick fix so that your merged numbers look just the way you want. So why does this happen? When Word pulls in data from Excel, it doesn't always bring over the formatting. This means things like currency, decimal places, and even zip codes can lose their special formatting. For example, here's an email set up as a mail merge with an Excel data table. The amount field is only showing the basic number, even though the Excel data is formatted as currency. Here's the data in Excel with the amount formatted the way we want. No wonder this can be frustrating. The good news is there's a simple way to fix this. Here's the trick. You add what's called a numeric switch to your mail merge field in Word. Think of it as giving Word a set of instructions for how to display your numbers. So let's walk through it step by step. First, we'll click on the merge field. So I'll turn off the preview results, and here's my merge field for the amount. Next, press the keyboard shortcut Alt F9. This reveals the hidden field code, that is, what's behind these merge fields. So we'll see merge field and the name of the field that's in our data source. Now here's the easy magic. We'll simply edit the field by adding the numeric switch to the end. So for currency type, I'm going to put in a slash, pound sign or hashtag, dollar sign, use whatever symbol is appropriate for your currency, comma, 0.00. .00. Now, the decimal point and the two zeros are not needed if you don't want to show the number in that much detail. If you only want to see the whole number, simply leave off the decimal places. So now I'll press Alt F9 again. That hides the field code. Let's go back to our preview. And there we go. It's that easy. Now, if for any reason you're not seeing this update, simply move to the field, right click on it, and you can choose Update Field. The F9 function key also works. Let's look at a few more messages to confirm that this worked. To learn from other videos in this Word Mail Merge series, look for the links in the description below. And if you really want to geek out, here are a few more useful switches. You may want to pause this video to capture the table, or for a more complete list, check out my article at thesoftwarepro.com slash Excel switches. So now you can fine tune how numbers display, whether you want currency, decimals, or even special treatments for negatives. And that's it. Just one small fix and your mail merge results look polished and professional, and you've saved hours of frustration. If you find this tip helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more time-saving Microsoft 365 tricks. You'll find more resources and free tips at thesoftwarepro.com. Slash word. Thanks for watching and happy merging.